Today we're gonna do an experiment where we use some tools to act as whale's teeth. So, I have a question for you. Have you seen the part in Finding Nemo, or do you remember when Dory and Nemo's dad get eaten by a whale? If you haven't seen it, I have a link for you. So pause this, watch that video so you know exactly what I'm talking about. From here, what you're gonna need to do this experiment is a bowl of water, basil, and a fork, a comb, and I'm using these tongs. So first I'm gonna pour this basil into the bowl of water. This is gonna act like the krill that's in the ocean. So krill is something that lives at the bottom of the ocean that whales usually eat. So it's similar material at, to what our experiment's gonna do, but I'm pouring it all in the bowl of water. And now we're gonna see which material is gonna get the most amount of our krill. So we're gonna start with the tongs and see. But before we do that, notice that all of these have um, a little bit more space in them. There's some space in the forks. There's not as much space in this comb. And these tongs don't have any of the space that the fork and the comb has. So think about what you think will get the most of the krill inside this water. Do you have your idea? Okay, let's try and then you can try on your own at home. So I'm gonna dip the tongs inside and try and get as much as I can. And I wasn't able to get that much. The water kind of got most of it. So that was our first one. So that one wasn't as successful. And that's not really what the whale's teeth look like so much. So now I'm gonna try the fork and I'm gonna put it back in the water and see if I can get some. I got a lot more than I got with that. So let's see, maybe the comb will be our best bet. So I'm gonna put the comb in and see how much I can get. So friends, what did you think? What do you think was able to get the most amount of krill? The tongs, the fork, or the comb? The comb was really able to get the most amount, and that's really what's the most similar in our experiment of what the whale's teeth are. So, I hope that you can try this at home and try using different things, and maybe there are other things that you can use to try and act as the whale's teeth. Thanks, friends!